What's going on everyone? Today I have a new how to valve video where we go over how to properly attack B bomb site on split with 10 different agents and how you should play them when trying to take this site. Before hopping into the meat and potatoes, let's first go over callouts applicable to B bomb site. Starting out of spawn, you have ramen, which feeds directly into bottom mid. While mid, you can specify your calls by using frog, sewer, sewer box, and rope box. You then have mid ropes and B heaven. In heaven, you have mail, tuck, trash, and stairs. Leaving heaven, you have rafters, and directly under heaven is hell. Last callouts are CT denoting CT spawn, ninja, default, backsite, tunnel, and garage before coming full circle back to spawn. Now that the callouts are cleaned up, let's go over the 10 most effective agents on split. Brim brings the best smokes in the game, which is good enough reason to bring him alone, but we also have great post-plant molly lineups along with his stem boost to help those early round engagements. Starting in garage, you can smoke a one-way on board to help clear the Reyna or Chamber who might be playing backside. Be sure to smoke the tunnel entry as well, and you can either pick CT or Heaven to smoke off, whichever one you feel is going to be the most effective for your take. Be sure to clear front sight and hell while you have the lines of sight from either CT or Heaven cut off. If planted for a garage, run Brim back to spawn and get this sight picture so you can use your molly and delay a defuse just a little bit longer. After shooting your molly, be sure to play in garage so that way you can peek the defuse playing off of the audio cue. Changing it up and going mid, you can smoke off ropes and heaven stairs along with close garage to help your team take sight from garage while you take from heaven. Omen is great for split and using his blinds to clear some hard to reach spots. If you're attacking from garage, use the same one way to clear back sight easily and you can pair this up with a blind sent to either CT or directly to backside to aid in clearing it. Once side is cleared, you can use Omen's TP to get up to rafters and you can either play CT on the off angle or can swing heaven from rafter. You can play some great off angles with Omen's TP if you're feeling your shot, so feel free to get in some creative spots and ultimately get the jump on defenders rotating into sight. If you want to push from mid, Smoke ropes and blind mail or heaven depending on the utility that you're using with your team. Just don't forget to smoke for your team who is pushing from garage. Cypher is normally pretty situational, however in the right hands he could be extremely impactful. While his smokes or his cage aren't typically the best because of the range that it limits you on using them from, you can use them decently here on split. If pushing from garage, get the lineup behind this box with your side touching the wall, line up the box with the tunnel edge, while looking in between these two rows of lights and boom, you have a perfect cage protecting you and your team from heaven. Once you cage off main, you can use your cam while your team is taking sight to ping anybody in heaven, making it uncomfortable for them to swing and being sure to recall your camera afterwards. After taking sight, use your tripwires to cover CT and front sight, which prevents a swing from happening by alerting you or the team. Attacking from mid, line yourself up behind sewer box and look upwards while jumping to get your cage into ropes. Then shoot your camera on the male entry, which will provide intel while your duelist or initiator push heaven. Be careful pushing behind them, however, as ropes could have someone waiting for your cage to drop. I will still save your trips for post plant on site, Considering tripping this far from the plant won't do you guys much good in terms of acting on the intel gathered. Outside of heals, Sage offers some great utility first, being her wall to block off heaven line of sight. Before entering sight, however, be sure that back sight is cleared, and if it isn't, use a slow orb to prevent a swing giving you the angle. I personally like the double slow, one back sight, and one CT which prevents a defender from trading out your frag on whoever is playing back sight. If you save your wall, let's say if you have smokes that are using on entry, you can wall both CT or Heaven just like this to help a retake much more painful. If you're feeling yourself, use the CT wall to boost yourself up to rafters and catch defenders off guard in Heaven. Mid, in my opinion, is an even easier take with Sage as you can slow ropes and also wall it off for the flank and then push into Heaven while slowing stairs. Let's say if you want to save your wall from using it on ropes, you can be a total pain in the ass if you wall just like this on heaven's stairs, which makes it really challenging to get through without dumping a lot of ammo or wasting a lot of time. Sage is just as good of a bring on attack as she is on defense on split. One trick chambers rejoice you're useful on split as you are every other map. Now honestly, there isn't much to talk about with chamber on split outside of just ego peeking everything, especially on your eco or your pistol rounds. If each team has a chamber, pistol rounds are dictated essentially by whoever the better chamber is. So be sure to get a frag or two 
before dipping out with your teleport. Don't forget to set at least one trip in your spawn, whether it watches the garage flank or the mid flank. And if you end up buying two trips, be sure to use one on post plant right by default and another on the opposite side on new box to warn you of any swing one way or the other. KO is honestly the best entry on split for a few reasons. First, his knife hitting backside will prevent a chamber or a rainer from dipping out after they get a kill. But the key here is to push back sight as the knife only has eight seconds of effectiveness. The order should go knife back sight, pop flash out of tunnel, and molly CT to help you clear back sight more easily without CT swinging you. Then use your second flash to clear either CT or hell and boom, you have sight just off of a single agent. If attacking mid, be sure to knife in this corner right here, which covers all of ropes and also all of mail. Then molly ropes, pop flash mail, and then pop flash heaven and boom, you have heaven control. If you save your molly from using it on ropes, let's say if there's a smoke down, you can use your molly on heaven stairs or on CT if you want to aggressively swing out into sight. Breach is slowly making his way into the meta for split for a few reasons. First, he can single-handedly clear sight with his fault line stun and aftershock clear. If you already have utility being dedicated to back sight clear, you can use the same stun damage combo on hell, heaven, and even front sight. Breach's flashes are amazing for taking the sight as well by flashing above tunnel which will hit heaven and hell along with flashing pillar which will blind just about anybody in heaven or rafters in a post plan situation. For the mid take, although Breach has flashes, you can actually from ramen stun heaven and then also use your aftershock in the same spot allowing for your duelist to aggressively enter into heaven. Feel free to use the same combo to clear mail or just your aftershock alone in mail or robes if you want to push with your entry. Some great flash spots if you want to push mid fast here is directly above ramen or a double flash into mail and then heaven. Sky on split is all about intel gathering. Considering the many wrath spots on split, your first job on sky is to drone the entry. You can use sky's dog to basically completely drone out sight all the way from garage. From ramen, you can clear pretty much anything mid from rats tucked on the rope box all the way up to heaven. Whichever way you drone, be sure that your team is following your intel in so that the time and eco spent was actually impactful. After your team follows your drone in, come in afterwards with heals and then sight take with flashes should there be any defenders left on sight. Jet is still the top duelist for split considering how fast the map plays and all the hard to reach spots that she can get to. Use your smokes to easily double smoke off tunnel entry or you can use one on entry which might leave a little gap here and there and then another one for back sight or CT. You can also smoke off heaven with the tunnel entry by hitting the corner of rafters right outside of heaven. If attacking from mid, throw the smoke right here on this vent sign looking thing which will create a one way on ropes allowing you to quickly run into mail and then ultimately take heaven. Raze in my opinion is the best duelist on split for creating space with her boom bot, paint shells and blast pack. She has great map clearing utility and plays very well with a judge or just getting up close to opponents with well placed blast packs. You can clear back sight with a boom bot from garage by lining up the tip of the boom bot arrow with the corner of this box. If you want to clear default, you can aim at the opposite edge of the box, which will send your boom bot deep towards CT. Lastly, for garage, you can also clear close tunnel entry all the way to front sight by aiming in the middle of this tile on the wall. If taking from ramen, line up your boom bot on the edge of this box where the left trail mark barely touches this yellow tile. This will send your boom bot into ropes while also clearing anyone ratting on rope box. You can also send your boom bot all the way into heaven from ramen by backing up into this corner as the lineup and then walking forward with the same lineup so that way your boom bot gets a little bit more distance. This will clear mid, mail stairs, and the entry into heaven. Lastly, don't be afraid to use your blast packs to get up close and personal with a judge or a phantom. Raze has great frag potential on split, and the only time I see a Raze struggle is when they aren't confident in their abilities. And that does it everyone on how to properly attack split B bomb site with these 10 different agents. I hope this better helps you flow with different agent compositions that you might be queuing up, let's say solo, duo, or trio and ultimately get to the next rank. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or add any of your own strats that I might have missed to help share with the community. Thank you as always for your support and I'll see you all in the next edition of How to Val. Peace.